Ah. You guys don't want to come say hi? <laughs> ah, this is fantastic. Thanks so much. GOP Man. vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan oh, almost made it to CSU today, but stopped at Walker Hall? Manufacturing in Fort Collins Man. for an old-fashioned town hall meeting. The rally drew a crowd of almost 2,500 supporters, from student voters to entrepreneurs, and even CSU's own Rachel Dreschler, who gave a speech before Ryan took the stage. Next year, I will be entering a job market where one out of two college graduates are unable to find full-time work. The Wisconsin congressman took questions from the audience for part of the rally and hit the Obama administration hard on issues like the economy, health care, energy, and highlighted education. Number one. We need an education system that makes sure that every kid can get to a good school, no matter what special interest group stands in their way. I spoke with CSU junior Laura Albritton and asked her what advice she had for the Romney-Ryan campaign in order to capture the I youth vote. going to campuses, specifically not um, college towns, and just continually hitting uh, the youth vote and not giving up on it, which I don't think they're doing. Um, but the youth vote is not lost. I'm, I'm there at CSU and... The majority are not uh, Romney Ryan supporters, but they're there. Laura is right, too. CSU is split nearly in three between independents, Democrats, and Republicans. We also had a chance to speak with CSU sophomore and GOP volunteer Craig Rhodes. I've volunteered uh, quite a few times. I walk uh, door to door every couple times a week, and I'll make phone calls for the Romney campaign. And uh, this is my second rally I've volunteered personally at. And it looks like the GOP will be needing those volunteers, as two recent CNN polls out of Colorado have President Obama leading his Republican rival by anywhere from three to five points. And time is winding down. With only 42 days until the election, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan are hoping to curb those poll numbers here in the state with rallies like this one here behind me. Reporting for CTV News 11, this is Sean Corbett's.